Welcome to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries, reaching the world with the love of God. Yeah. Hello, guys, and welcome to Greater Faith Outreach Ministry here at BD Local. We're back. Yes, we're Hi. back. Say hello, Elizabeth Kim. Hello, how are you? And Wendy Sumstrom. Hello. They're the co-hosts here today. I guess you're probably wondering why we're all dressed up. We have an event to go to at the number one restaurant. King, was it King Five? King Five, King yes. Five declared that they were the number one restaurant here in T-Town. Who are they? And that's Olive Branch. Yes. <laughs> yes. Beautiful tea the house. Olive, yeah, beautiful tea house. Oh, you got to get there. If you guys live in this area, go to the, is it the freight house? So yep. go down there and visit Terry and, and check out her place. I tell you, it's so like a old Victorian mm. castle, like, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs> it <is> beautiful. <laughs> it's like, we found our place. Yay! We found our yes, place. Yes, we did. <laughs> We have tea time. Tea time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kick it off with Wendy. Wendy, what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about intimidation. And you know, the devil likes to intimidate us into not doing what God tells us to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, John 10, 10 says, The thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to know that, you know, that... Um, the enemy always likes to destroy, doesn't he, Pastor Elizabeth? Yeah, he said, he come, you know, the Bible tells us he come to kill, steal, and destroy, yeah. but God come to give us life and life more abundantly. And uh, I like what C.S. Lewis said. He said that the main reason Satan's, his greatest uh, plan is to conceive people that he does not exist so he can continue to do his work and that's how he brings in intimidation and people they get afraid they get upset at pe at people rather than seeing what's behind that see you see what i'm saying yes and that causes frustration and bitterness and all those things and the plan can be um, aborted in, in, in a way. That's what the enemy want to do, get you off course, you know? Exactly. Because he has hidden agendas, and we have to remember mm -hmm. that he's behind that. And sometimes we look at the person and we get angry. Oh, so-and-so did that to me, and we harbor all this bitterness, and we focus and put so much energy in that person and on that thing, not being aware that this is a spiritual warfare. Yes, okay? it is. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 6 came to my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not flesh to flesh, you know, against yeah. the principality. That's why we always wear armor, you know, helmet of salvation, mm -hmm. breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, shoes of preparation of gospel of peace, hold the shield of faith, and hold the sword, which is word of the Lord, all the time. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So when a godly men and women of the Lord cannot perform uh, effectively, then what? The enemy is going to be so happy. So that's why the enemies always try to grip, put a grip on the shackle on the men and women of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's you right. have to plead the word of the Lord Jesus Christ and then get yourself around, surrounded by amazing men and women of the Lord and go to the main sources, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Right. And it's important that we all encourage one another in the Lord, yes. you know, mm -hmm. esteeming others more highly than yourself. You know, that that's what makes, you know, um, the ability for each of us as Christians to be able to be all God has called us to be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we have to be able to identify and confront the spirit of fear. We yes. must, you know. Amen. Um, because God has given us a discernment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to understand that. And the job and function of that spirit of fear and intimidation is to paralyze the Christians yep. emotionally and spiritually so that we can't do the work of Christ, mm -hmm. you know? And that's the, the whole principle of why this intimidation will come. And it can even come through your parents. It can come through husbands, you know, trying to get their their wives to submit. I've heard that before. Well, the Bible said That's you have point. to submit your mm -hmm. submit to your husband. What if your husband is going to clubs and drinking and all of this, you know, getting high? You know, you don't submit to that. To that. But it's a spirit of intimidation. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is That's a serpent right. spirit. I just want to share the scripture really oh, quick with you guys. Uh, Leviathan spirit. Isaiah 27, 1, if you want to take a look at it. I'm going to read it. In the day, the Lord with his uh, severe sword, a great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fling serpent, 
Leviathan, the twisted, crooked mm. serpent, and he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. It is Isaiah 27, 1. Mm. So just you have to be aware of this uh, spirit, the twisted, crooked spirit all mm. the time, so that the Lord Jesus Christ is going to command the archangels on behalf of you, and if you plead to the Lord Jesus Christ, fight your battle, I'm, 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 I guarantee wow. God's going to destroy your enemies. Mm. Not your husband and wife, actually. The enemy is unseen's enemy. Unseen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So pray for your husband and uh, your coworker, your boss, or, you know, your teachers even, or your friends, you know, who come against you. You should be able to, I pray that God's going to open your spiritual eyes so you're not going to fight against the actual person. You're going to fight against the spirit controlling that person mm -hmm. who persecuting you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I like that, what you said, the spirit of Python. And oh. what does a Python do? It tries to wrap, wrap it, itself yeah. around you. And choke and you. Choke you. you. Yeah. And cripple you. Yes. Yeah. And then, so that the men and women of the Lord are not going to be able to be effective mm. in that. Have you ever felt like you want to do something, whether they're in street ministry or you want to say something in this uh, corporate meeting, you know, whatnot, then you're afraid, oh, what if he or she's going to say that yeah. I'm stupid, whatnot, or if you feel all of a sudden cold or pressure, that mm, is a spirit, spirit of, operating in that atmosphere. You don't mm -hmm. have to say out loud, but you're going to say, I am child of God. I'm the head, not the tail. I am the ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, kingdom say of the it. light. And you are going to be able to persecute the very spirit, try to cripple you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I feel so passionate about that. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. a battle is not against um, flesh and blood. It's against principalities and powers and rulers in high places uh, that are wicked. So ultimately, you know, um, we have to know that it's not against people ever. Right. You know, sometimes the enemy uses people that, oh, yeah. that love you. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's what she's talking about. You know, mm -hmm. don't ever come against the person. It's Amen. not the person. It is a spirit that's using mm -hmm. that Thank person. You. And mm -hmm. so you can break that. We have the power over all the enemy, Jesus said. So yeah. we can put that spirit underneath our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. That was Amen. amazing. You look Gorgeous, by the way. Yes, thank you. Me. So do you guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so underdressed today. You're beautiful, <laughs> as always. <sighs> Oh, yes. yes. So, so, you know, yeah. we need to be careful and be yes. ready. Be ready, you yes. know. Um, you know, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power mm -hmm. and of sound mm -hmm. mind. And mm -hmm. we cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us. When we do that and leave it at his feet, mm -hmm. he's able mm -hmm. to go before us and make every cro crooked pa path straight, which is what she's talking about, that crooked spirit. Mm -hmm. So so God will go before you and he Amen. will fight the battle because the battle's <laughs> the battle's the Lord. Hallelujah. That's Lord's. right. Right. You know? And we could grow up in that, you know, yes. with the spirit of fear and intimidation. I remember when I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know, I was picked on a lot because my father had, you know, he had a pretty good amount of mm -hmm. wealth. He lost it all. He didn't lose it all, but mm -hmm. it was stolen from him uh, back um, where I lived in Oklahoma. But I had a car. You know, I was one of the first kids that had a car and I was mm -hmm. picked on. And, oh, you think you're that. You think you're this, you know. Oh. And I would always try to downplay myself all the time mm -hmm. so people wouldn't be mad at me and I would compliment them you know so they mm -hmm. wouldn't get mad mm -hmm. that was a spirit of intimidation yes you know and you can yes. grow up yes with that, that know, is I'm not so being who you are yes yeah wow exactly. you yeah. and I both yeah yeah no exactly. wonder it happens we have the same happens. name too. <laughs> but, I, but I'm telling you, so I thought that growing up I had the exactly same experience. I always have to just kind of be quiet or make sure that other people's not going to feel intimidated by my dress or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But I don't, I'm not apologetic right now about the way I dress or my beauty even. I'm so sorry. I can Oops. say that because Amen. I'm the prophet of Jesus Christ. Yes. I'm not saying that model or whatever, but then I know how to put myself together. That is wisdom from the yeah, Lord Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. So do not ever feel like no. whenever somebody like complimented on you, for example, like, oh, no, it's, no, it's mm. okay. No, no. You got to understand that you are the property of Jesus Christ. And yes. thank you. God made me beautifully. Yes. Amen. Yeah, right? The property Amen. of Jesus Christ. Exactly. Amen. And he puts his beauty upon you. Too, Hallelujah. You know? Yeah. He does. And you don't have to walk in intimidation and don't feel, don't be yourself. Just be yourself out there. You know? Exactly. God made you fearfully and wonderfully. So don't downplay who you are. Be who you are, who God called you to be. 
Okay. Right. Stop being put up under. He's like, people just want to put you up under their feet. Yeah. Keep you down, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. And, and, and we really have to know who we are. Like like Pastor Winder said, we have to know who we are. We yes. belong to God. And, and last week we talked about it. God said we're a royal priesthood. Right. That's the right. ambassador from the kingdom of the light. Jesus. Yes, exactly. And that's not, we're not being haughty or proud. That's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. That's what the Bible tells us. You know, before... We didn't know that, but now yeah. we know God has given us the keys to the kingdom. You That's know, right. we know who we are. We have a heavenly father who we can come, come yeah. to and cry, Abba, Father. I mean, this is the yes. privilege we have, and you can have as a child of God. Amen. Know who you are. Know that God has begun a good work in you, and he's able to complete that work That's in right. you. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's like I'm Go so ahead. passionate about it. If God is for you, who's going to be, be, be against you? you? I. This is what I'm practicing right now. Whenever uh, somebody or or like I feel some kind of restriction, you know, then I declare the word. Yeah. You know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue's rights against me in judgment. I shall condemn. Mm-hmm. This is the mm-hmm. heritage of servant of the Lord. If I say that, I'm telling you that yeah. I've, I experienced the atmosphere yes. has shifted, you know? Yeah. So you have, you have to know it. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Pastor. Yeah. So imagine that it's the ambassador from the United States, you know, was sent ambassador in a different country, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he or she, the ambassador who represents the country, is not getting treated mm-hmm. well, or even if somebody like hurt the ambassador, mm-hmm. what would the president of the United States would do? Right? Think about that. That's good. Think about that our Father in heaven, you, we are all ambassador mm-hmm. from, the king, you know, from the kingdom of the light. That's you have to right. know your identity. Right. Seriously, know mm-hmm. and know and know. Nobody can put you down. That's right. We have to know who we are. Amen. And that's the spirit we get when we come to the Lord. You know, we get this holy boldness. You know, it's not a haughtiness. It's not a pride. Oh, thank you. It is uh, understanding who we are in Christ. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that he's appointed us. He's chosen us. Mm-hmm. And it's a beautiful thing to be chosen of your daddy, yes. your father in heaven. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And in First Peter 2, 9 and 10, it says that. But you are a chosen people, uh-huh. mm-hmm. royal priesthood, mm-hmm. yep. a holy nation, Amen. God's special possession, uh-huh. that you may declare the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his marvel- marvelous light. Amen. Once right. we were not his people, but now we are the people of God. Once you were not received, you did not receive mercy, but now you have received mercy. That's See, right. we are chosen by God. That's right. You know, a royal priesthood. Amen. And we have to accept that and know that. And I know some of you have been through so much and you feel like you're nothing, but God said you are. Yes. You are a royal priesthood. And it's not about how you look or how you feel. It's what happened once you adopted. You were adopted into the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And also, it came to my mind, pastors, like, you got to hold your tongue. Whenever you feel like you are misunderstood mm-hmm. by your pastor or your coworker or your boss, hold your tongue. I'm just preaching to yeah. myself. Hold your tongue first and go to the main source, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, spirit of what, you know, the gossip is going to happen yeah. and the division is going to happen. That's what enemy is exactly after, you know? That's so right. what do you say about That's that? That's good yes. wisdom. Yes. That's yes. very good wisdom. Yes. Yeah. I, I yeah. agree. And we must totally. hold our peace. Yes. Yes. And um, in Proverb, it talks about uh, Proverbs 29, 25. It says, the fear of man brings a snare, but whosoever leans on, trust in, and put his confidence in the Lord is safe and set on high. Now, when he sets you up on high, you can't be touched. Mm. You see? Oh, wow. But, but we have to know that. That's we good. have to know Hallelujah. that, you know, n- not to fear. Mm. Hold your peace and let God deal deal with that. Amen. You know? That's and right. And he'll take care. But like you said earlier, right. you know, we belong to him. We're his possession. Exactly. Of course he's going to take up for us. We're his ambassadors. Mm-hmm. Okay? Amen. Hallelujah. You know? That's right. He's yeah. a good father. Yes. A very good father. <laughs> and he has and a good plan there. for each one of yes, us. You know? Yes, yes, yes. People have to know that. When you come to the Lord, when you ask him, in your heart when you say i believe that you died on the cross i believe you rose from the dead when you say that and you receive him hallelujah you know he has a good plan mm-hmm, for you mm-hmm. and even though we still go through things god is right there in the right fires there. with us and right we there. go through it and we come out 
not smelling like smoke and not not burnt, That's not good. not touched by it. But ultimately, we come through it, and mm-hmm. we can say that this too will pass. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And we, you know, and he just has a lot of of precious things that he set aside just for you. So just know that, Amen. you know, his thoughts are many for you. Amen. Many. All right. Awesome. Also, I wanted to say that all of you could send us email, you know, greater faith, uh, our rich dot com right yes great and faith for dot com. pastor elizabeth hamilton you can even find her in the facebook to so type her name elizabeth hamilton elizabeth kim and miss bellevue washington for america and then pastor wendy sunstrom sunstrom sorry yes. so if you just send us yes. your prayer yes. request please yes. we want to pray together there's yes. a power in the corporate yes. prayer Okay. Don't feel alone. Don't feel like nobody cares about you because we do care about you. Yes, we do. Just I want you to know that. And then there's a je- I come against the spirit of a jealousy again. Oh, yeah. And then when women are now moving forward more, more so than before, right? And since and then, you had the pageant, I know oh. you experienced that. Well, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I, yeah, I had to mention that. Because- yeah, I mean, by all the my sash. Sisters, they're amazing. I'm so lucky in that way. Yeah. But uh, those people who see me, not those ladies in the pageant, actually, uh-huh, outside uh-huh. of pageant, see me with a nice clothes and juries and everything, and they think that I'm cheating on the system or even one of them even mentioned. <laughs> is, I'm, I feel even embarrassed to talk about it. And they say, I don't know what they mean by getting sugar daddy. I'm sorry, but that is just <laughs> not. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my Lord, God. right? And then, That's yeah, my nice. sugar daddy, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Amen. Do you, wow. We don't we don't do that, okay? That's right. You <laughs> it's that it just shows you where the mind is, you know, yes. you know, the minds. And and there's another reason why we have to guard our hearts, you know. Yes, and the Bible says diligence. guard your ha- hearts Heart. with yeah. all diligence. Okay. You know, you don't let any of that contaminate you. Right. You just let it roll off your back. <laughs> That's right. Like a duck's back. You just That's right. roll off. And wait on the Lord. Be, you know, be brave. He said, be brave, be courageous and have patience and wait on the Lord. And he'll give you the peace to deal with that because he'll fight our battles. You know, we yes, just hold our will. peace and we don't let like uh, once again, we don't want, we talked about it last week too, about we won't let that fester. The things that people yes. say cause bitterness in our heart. Mm-hmm. You know? That's right. Mm-hmm. So we won't be effective. To, for people, just let it roll off. Just remember, I used to always say, okay, Lord, help me to look past their faults and see their needs. They need you. <laughs> That's right. That's oh, right. That is and we're supposed to love our enemies, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's something that many Christians need to look at and go, yeah. hey, you know what? I need to love you. And that mm-hmm. means I forgive you for whatever mm-hmm. you've done. And I pray that you come to know this beautiful, awesome Jesus. Because mm-hmm. we want you to enjoy just like we yeah. do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I just want to say your day will come. You know, I was in a dark place for a long, long, long time. You know, and I still go through really a high struggle. Mm-hmm. Once you get past the one struggle, obstacle, there's another obstacle. We, you will never, ever, like, be completely done, uh, you know, until we go to heaven. Mm-hmm. Then we'll have a yeah, good time. That's right. So just know and know and know. Just because he or she looks uh, look good or smells good, that doesn't mean that he or she is not going through a difficulty. You don't know what you don't know. That's okay? right. Exactly. And I work very hard myself, too, you know. So just want I. you to know that. Mm-hmm. And I know your pain. So yeah. just like I said, please send us email. Yes. I want to pray with you. Yes. Do you have anything else you want we to say? We would love to yeah. pray for you out there who's been held back. You know, the Lord has called you to do something. He's given you a vision. But because of people and how they think about you, you're afraid. Call us and we would love to pray for you mm. because God has a work for you. He has put something in you that this generation needs. Don't let no man or woman or anybody hold you oh, back. Oh, yeah. The insecurity. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. The insecurity came into my mind right now. A lot of men and women suffer from insecurity. Yeah. It's, it's a disease. It's not even funny. I'm not saying that I'm completely 100% free from insecurity, yet I know how to fight it and that I just do not agree with that spirit of insecurity. Yeah. That's right. So do you have any wisdom or advice on that? Well, when somebody just... Yeah. Obviously, you know, I've always said you need to know who you are in mm-hmm. Christ. And 
you are accepted in the beloved. You are accepted. And and that means you are beautiful from day one. Amen. Hallelujah. And mm -hmm. he's he's the one that does the work. Like Pastor Elizabeth said, when he's begun a good work, he's yeah. very capable of finishing that work. So just understand that, that you don't have to be absolutely perfect. You know, none of us will be perfect until he comes. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? We just, we just keep striving towards that prize, the call. You know, mm. that high calling in Christ Jesus. And that's yeah. what we we, that's we, so we strive for. Yeah. yeah. We're work yeah. in progress. Yes, we, we stay are. on the wheel, on the potter's wheel. That's and right. let him continue to mold us and shape us into the image of his Christ, of that's Christ right. Jesus. That's what he wants to do. Yeah. He wants to shape us and mold us. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. giving us the mind of Christ and that's giving right. us the attitude that Jesus had. Jesus was very meek and humble. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, he very was. meek and humble. Exactly. But yet he knew who he was. Right. Yes, he you, did. You, you have to get with the Lord Jesus Christ because even if you get all kind of a fame or reputation or beauty and money, what not, if you are not line up with the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to be suffering from all the insecurity. I've seen a lot of uh, beautiful men and women, even they even taking their own life. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that is yeah. serious. Yeah, I know. It's real. There's another topic that's going to talk about yeah, it. It breaks so my heart. Beautiful. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, and why they did you feel, do that? Because they feel ugly. They love you. They feel yeah. ugly. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah. So. We, we have only 30 minutes. So I got so many things to talk about, but <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> That is so true. We can't let anybody downplay, take away what the Lord has put in us. And uh, before we, you know, I want to uh, get this in before I forget about it. Uh, Kanye West, we oh, all yeah. seen him in the yes. news and on media, social media and things like that. You know, he's given his life to Christ. So I would just ask everybody to pray mm -hmm. for him. He's still a babe in Christ, you know, and he has all this zeal and everything, you know, and people are doubting. Of course, you know, mm -hmm. there's going to always, like you always say, yeah. there's always going to be naysayers. Oh, and, yeah. And yeah critics and things like that but he said something so profound it was simple but yet profound he was saying okay when you go to sleep you sleep right mm -hmm. and you wake up you woke up mm -hmm. that's a state of being okay you're being sleep you know you don't know what goes on god knows what's going on when you sleep and then you wake up and he said people without christ is like the walking sleep oh, the walking dead wow. and that's so true wow and the bible even tells us that we were once dead but now made alive but i just Great said christ. just pray for him because he's Amen. winning people that we can't win mm -hmm. he's gonna win god's yeah. got him in hollywood to to win right. those there mm -hmm. you know and this is a gift yeah. This is a gift to the body of Christ and, and not him, but many others are Brad coming Pitt. to the Lord. Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt are coming to the, to the Lord. Lord. That's yes. amazing. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing hey. what God is doing. Yeah. So pray instead of talking about, oh yeah, we're going to see how long that lasts. People do that all the time. They yeah. said it about me. I see how long that's going to last. And that's been like 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still standing. Hallelujah. That's you know, right. but we have to pray for our brothers and sisters in that's Christ. Right. That's what we're called to do. God said, know them by their love one to another. That's we have right. to love one another and That's pray right. for one another because we're mm -hmm. all here to do what God called us to do. Amen. Be ambassadors. Wow. Right? I That's feel the right. Holy Spirit when you're Holy saying Spirit, right now. Hallelujah. You, right. So what would you we say to, to people? What would you say to people who don't know the Lord yet? Because I get that question a lot. Like my coworkers and coworkers and friends said, how come you are always positive and, you know, uh, miss positive, whatever. So <laughs> where is that from? And then I said, from, from Jesus Christ. And that, well, I don't believe in Jesus Christ, you know? So, and then I said, invite Jesus Christ in your heart and then ask him to come to your heart. Yeah. But do you have any advice on that? Because I'm sure there are people watching right now who don't know the Lord yet. And yes. then maybe Lord yeah. Jesus Christ will let him or her down. Well, That's what they said. But yeah. Well, first of all, I would say try him. You know, mm -hmm. there's no better way to find out if he's real than to say, yes. Lord, if you're real, reveal yourself yes, to me. Yes, and yes. I, so I you know, wow. I mean, I would say, ask him in your heart. Amen. Say you believe in the, you know, in the Thank in the Jesus. cross and that he was risen from the dead. And then just watch. Yeah. You know, I mean, what will it hurt you to do that? Just try it. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Amen. 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 So Amen. God does not make you say do that and do don't do that. A lot of my friends who don't know the Lord yet saying, "Oh, when you go to church, I cannot go have party anymore. It's a boring, and you know I don't want that life." 
So oh, the, a lot wow. of people that, thinking that. What, see, <laughs> see how the enemy has given this. See how the devil lies to people. You have the ultimate fun. You have the ultimate joy because you don't have to carry around that baggage you did when you were in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and I always tell people, God's not this cosmic bully that's trying to take away your fun. He wants to give you the ultimate fun, the ultimate pleasure. I remember when I was out in the world, well, I would get, you know, get uh, the, my friends, we'd go get high, and I'd feel bad in the morning, yeah. didn't know what I did, and things like that, and I'd be guilty, had all this bombarded with all this guilt and this mm. shame and all that, mm. but once you come in Christ, he takes all that away from you. He starts mm -hmm. a new page. Amen. Yep. The things that happen to you is not you. That's the past. Okay, he washes that all away, takes away the guilt, take away the shame and gives you joy, unspeakable joy filled with glory. That's and see, right. that's what the enemy don't want you to have. <laughs> he wow, wants you to right. walk around angry and mad like he is because mm -hmm. he can't get back in anymore. Exactly. He lost his place in the kingdom and he mm -hmm. don't want you to have yours. Right. So don't be intimidated by what people say or think or whatever about you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you are a child of God and he loves you and you can have the ultimate fun he said i come to give you life mm -hmm. and that more abundantly mm -hmm. that's right. and there's no high like, like the most, most high, high. <laughs> he will he I will like give that. you joy yes. overflowing like pastor yes. elizabeth said it yes. is amazing it is. and you know it's much better than anything in this world it's so. a born again experience just oh, it's like beautiful. you said it's bo Very being beautiful. born again mm. of the spirit yes and there's joy and pleasures and peace in the spirit. and, and peace oh in the gosh, spirit it's beautiful. i remember when i first got saved i said oh i <laughs> love it you know like yeah. i said i had like i'd never experienced seeing trees and stuff before mm -hmm. the the mountains and things like that you yes. see everything is open up to you where you couldn't see all the other things mm -hmm. because the hustle and bustle of the world, the cares of the world, the pride of life and all that. Mm -hmm. You were bombarded with that. Mm -hmm. And now your mm -hmm. eyes are open and you can see what God has plans for you. The yes. beautiful things you can think about. And Amen. he gives us, you know. That's right. He gives us good gifts. Amen. Yeah. And, and you can, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You first. So, and you can cast your cares upon him. Yeah. So you don't have to be anxious for anything, but in everything with prayer and supplication, That's making good. your requests known unto him. Amen. And you know what? He will give you peace yeah. that passes all understanding if you do that. Hallelujah. Exactly. Okay. Hallelujah. What I was going to say is that do not be upset at your pastor who's not going to be there all the time or your godly friends who's not going to be there all the time. Maybe in this particular season that you're in, God has a different person mm -hmm. or different resources for you. So mm -hmm. instead of being mad at the person who you had 100% and trust, you know, 100% you trust, trust Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And maybe that person cannot go to that, that road that you have to go, right? Maybe Jesus Christ have a different person ready for you. That's right. I just yeah, want to say that. Yeah, that's good That's advice. really good. Yeah, because really I, I want to take you everywhere. I want to yeah. take you everywhere. But <laughs> Pastor Wendy and Elizabeth not available for me all the time. And I can throw a fit. And how come you didn't answer the phone? How come you not pray for me? I don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right? No. Because no, we... No. we let God lead us. Yeah, and, that's and when God is again. <laughs> yeah, when God is leading you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, then God will make a way. Yeah. If, if we need to get together, like we're getting together tonight. Yeah. Could God that. made that way, and and that's how we understand it. Is that when when we get to get together with some of our sisters and brothers in Christ, mm -hmm. it's it's blessed by God, and exactly. God yes. opens yes. the that's door for it. Amen. 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 Yes. You don't have to feel guilt and shame no. afterwards. You know, no. that's a beautiful thing. And back again to what you said about the manipulation, calling, mm. oh, you didn't do this and all that. Mm. And God's not like that. No, he's, he's a, not. You know, the thing about him is about choice. He loves yep. us. Mm -hmm. That was the whole purpose he said well, I want you to choose that's why people are doing all these different things and and going their own way because God's not gonna uh, pull them in he's not gonna mm -hmm. make them do anything love causes you to just come in on your own not that's force right. That's He's right. not going to force us in it or intimidate us or make us. He draws us in by his court of love. That's you know, I always right. say, Lord, you just, you know, I just can't help but love you because he's just so patient, so yes. merciful. You, you want to do what he asks you to do. You just want to do it. You want to. <laughs> yeah. You know? oh, it's not yeah. a forcible thing, Amen. you know. Yeah, he right. didn't manipulate them in the Garden of Eden. He just told them not to eat from the tree. But they did. They made their choice. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -uh. 
And so God has made his choice. He's telling us to make your choice now. Choose me because I gave you Jesus Christ. He is the redeemer. All you have to do is believe what God said. Agree with God. Agree that he sent his son mm -hmm. to die for your sins. Amen. Like Wendy said, he sent him to die in your place to mm. redeem you. So if you believe that Jesus died for you and you repent and turn from your way of doing things mm -hmm. and turn into the arms of God, your life is going to be so much joyful. Amen. That's <laughs> you can right. cash your cares, like you said, you can cash Amen. your cares on him because he cares. Mm. You don't have to fight this, be in this world by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have friends, family, uh, everything like that, but they go to sleep. Right. They might go to work or whatever, right. but God is always there. Amen. He's never sleeps. That's you know, his right. voicemail never, never slumbers and sleeps. His voice I don't know how he does that. Yeah. <laughs> Be in every place at one time. I know, right? You know? Oh, my God. Send your angels oh. out watching over us as Amen. we sleep. Yeah. What a good father. Hallelujah. You know? I cannot wait to meet him. Oh, I thought Amen. about that yeah. song the other day. I was I listening to it. Yeah. It said, I can only imagine, imagine. what, what this is going to be like, you know? Will I turn flips or what? <laughs> 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 Just, you know, well, I see our time is up, but I tell you guys, yeah. we love you. You know God loves you. Last words. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Shalom. Too. <laughs> Shalom. Amen. You've been listening to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries with Pastor Elizabeth, reaching the world with the love of God. If you'd like prayer or a copy of today's program, log on to www.greaterfaithoutreach.com or call 253-324-7902.